Okay. Sorry for this question. Firstly, always identify the topic first. Okay. I mean, if this is in your tutorial, obviously you know what's the topic, right? Mm. Yeah. This is what? DRV, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull this thing down. Okay, so you know that this is DRV. <clears throat> so DRV, there's only a few things that you can test us. PDF, you know, uh, expectation, variant, stuff like that. Okay, so for this one, it's a, okay, it's a bias six-sided die, which means that it's trying to tell, tell us from here that the probability of hitting any score on the die is not even. It's not going to be one over six. Okay, no, it's not going to be one over six. Okay, so we are going to have a few probabilities. We're going to have probabilities of x equals 1, probability of x equals 2. Okay, or rather, instead of doing this, right, I should put it in table form. So we have x in which x is equals to the score of the die. Okay, so this is probability of x equals to small x. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so the probability of x equals 1 is p. Correct? Yeah. Over here. The probability of x equals 2 is what? Okay, this one we have a formula. Okay, probability of x equals to 2 will be equals to probability of x equals to 1 plus 1, which is equals to half times probability of x equals to 1. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So over here, we are going to have half P. Oh. Probability of X equals to 2, equals to 3, is equals to probability of X equals to 2 plus 1, which is equals to half times probability of X equals to 2, which is 1 quarter P. Make sense? Yeah. So we can, up, up to this particular step, uh, we can already see a trend already. What do we see mm -hmm. here? Um, just half. There is a oh. common ratio. Ratio, very good. So which turns this into uh, an, oh my god. which turns this into a GP, right? Because from here to here, we times half. From here to here, we times half. So we can already foresee that from here to here, we are going to times half, so on and so forth. So you get one over eight P. What about this? What about the, the one below five? 16. 16. One over six. Then one over 32 P. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So we already we already know that this is a summation. They are testing on what? This question is testing on the summation of GP. Um. Because the sum of GP is going to give me what? The sum of all these things here? One. Yes, it's going to be one. Okay? So we know yeah. we don't Okay, previously I told you to memorize the formula for sum of GP. I'm not sure if you, you had memorized it yet. Have you? 
Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so what's the formula for sum of GB? Um, 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 yeah, yeah. I got it. You got it. Which is, <laughs> which is um, what? Okay. U1, which is A, bracket, Yes. Something is missing. <laughs> you better mem you better I tell you the the only way to memorize right is to write it like ten times. Uh, okay. Yeah, just write it ten times. Because it's it okay, honestly speaking, right, for math, uh, I really hate it to ask you guys to memorize stuff. Because it's math. It's supposed, it's supposed to be application I mean, you, I, you should be memorizing stuff for like the other subjects like geography or other stuff you know or econ mm -hmm. but the thing is this one no choice I have to make you guys memorize because it is not in MF26 okay yeah, yeah. you got to do it okay but anyway we know what is the A the A is P itself and the R is half so by substituting it into the equation you should be able to solve for P Right? Yes. So once you solve for P, you should be able to get this. Yeah. Yeah. So after you solved it, right, find the value of expectation of X. How to find? Even, even simpler. Then add them up together. Mm, okay. You know how to find, right? Times, 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 times. Then add yeah. it up together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay? Yeah. Okay, then the next part will be... Hold on, uh, let me erase this thing. Okay, the next part will be... Okay, this bias die and an ordinary... Fair six-sided die, okay. So we have a biased one and a fair one, okay. They are thrown at the same time. So now they introduce a new variable. Y denotes the number of the uppermost face of the ordinary die. Write down the expectation of Y. This one should be quite okay, right? Because the table would have been just like One, two, three, four, five, six. The die got zero or not? No, right? <laughs> oh my god, Renee, this is going on to YouTube, man. <laughs> what? Today I just found out that Paris is in France. France, France and Italy and France are different places. <laughs> Fantastic. This is really going on to YouTube. I'm going to get a lot more views. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So, this will be... Sorry, this is for why. Oh my God. What am I writing? This is for y, this is your capital Y equals to small y. Right? Because yeah. this is for ordinary die, which is the fair die. So for every single value of the score, you're going to have the same probability because it's a fair die. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so over here they say write down the expectation of y. So this is very simple. E y. Yeah, so you need to find expectation of y. Which is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 divided by 6. Alright? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very simple. Okay. 
Okay. Find also A, the value of probability of X plus Y equals to 4. Okay. So now we want to find probability of X plus Y equals to 4. Okay. So probability of X plus Y equals to 4, we need to think of the different scenarios. Okay. So basically for probability of X plus Y equals 4. So this is how we are going to present it. Uh. Okay. Uh, X plus Y equals 4 means that we can have, let's take it for instance, if X is equals to 1, then Y will be equals to 3. Right? Mm. Yeah. It can also be, or, or it can also be, okay, when I say, when I use the word or, right, means it will be plus. Wait, so really. comma is plus? No, no, comma is not plus. When, when, I, when I said, because PX plus Y equals 4, so we have, to we have to look at the set of values of X com uh, together with the set of values of Y that give us 4. So, so when X equals 1 and Y equals 3, this will give us 4, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then we have to think of other cases or probability of x equals to 2 and y equals to 2 will also give us 4. Then next will be probability of... Okay, the, the reason why I say plus and not times uh, is because it's an or. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It's not an n. There's no comma here. There's no comma here. The only comma is over here. So, so times is... Times, it, it, if it's times, it'll be n. If you were to... When you formulate the equation and you are using the word n, right? You should be multiplying. Okay. Okay. This is how I go about uh, phrasing the question from English to uh, math. So we will have x equals one comma y equals three. Probability of x equals two comma y equals two, and probability of, uh, let's say x equals to three and y comma one. Anything else? No. Nothing else really, right? Is there yeah. is there probability of x equals no zero? No, zero. <laughs> I tell you, if you roll a die, right? If you roll a die, right? And then you saw that there's no dot on it, right? It gives you a zero, right? You better yeah. run. Why? Something is wrong. <laughs> what do you mean? If you roll a die and then, right, you get a zero, right? It means that there must be dirty stuff around, around you. Who say? Confirm. Why you say that? It's a night. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna be alone. Okay, oh, be God. alone. Like, my siblings are sleeping, then my mom is in a the room, then I'm outside alone. Well, don't worry, you are not going to roll a die and get zero. It's no, either I'm that. I'm scared now, what the <laughs> shit? That was the, <laughs> the, second, <laughs> the second, the second alternative, right? If you roll a die and you get zero, right? Means that you should go and get for, you should go and get a refund because they never paint the die properly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what you know, I, I should say. Yeah. Our condo has like a back gate, right? And then like the back gate is like it's like from the bus stop then from the bus stop to where all the uh, apartments are, it's like that's the tennis court, right? So sometimes like if it's like at night then like there's no one playing at a tennis court, they only got like the small lights on in the walkway, right? Then mm -hmm. it's then freaking dark. So mm -hmm. every time when there's no one at the tennis court and then my dad is not at home, so he, he there's no one to like walk me from the bus stop to the okay. our okay. unit. Then I always run. I always run back. Why would you do that? This is so scary. I cannot. I always try like literally every single time I have to walk back there, right? I always, I was like, okay, you know what? When you find there's literally nothing, there's no one, there's nothing. Then I walk like five steps, and after that, I'll just run on the way back. I cannot. So, that thing like freaking scary. <laughs> this thing, ah, uh. mm. oh, looks quite cute, uh. You know the yeah, it's cute. Why red?
Okay, let's carry on. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so understand how we phrase it here. We want the probability. Okay, we talk about this one first. We talk about this one first. We are mm -hmm. we, we, we want the probability of x equals to one and y equals to three. So notice that I use what? I use the word n. Right? I want the probability yeah. of x equals one and y equals to three. Means I need I need to find, so I'll be using because now I still don't know what's the value of p la, because I don't have the okay, oh, sorry, sorry, I know, I know. What the heck? I know. So <laughs> <laughs> so it will be 32 over 63 times, because I say n, so it will be times. Probability of getting y equals to 3, which is over here, will be 1 over 6. Right? Following? <laughs> Wait. Why... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, get because it. I said N. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Then the next one, so I plus or. Why, why, is, why is this a black ghost? It's not, it's not black, it's grey. Oh, okay. That was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trap, right? <laughs> See, then when he smiles in the dark, you can only see his teeth. That's kind of racist. No, no, no. That's because it's grey. <laughs> there's no... There's literally no one that's coloured grey in the world. That's true. What? Actually, yeah. there's no one that's black. La. You know yeah, I mean? no. Yeah, it's just like... No. There's, not, there's this girl that's like... She's really, really dark. Why she's so pretty? Like... Yeah, that's all. And who is that? I don't know. Don't I tell me your said, shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say that. Mm, yeah, okay. Nice. Nice. Mm. Nice. Fantastic, man. Okay. So coming back to this. Probability of x equals 2. So what's the what's the probability of x equals 2? It will be 32 over 63 times half. Correct? Yeah. Then times one over six, one over six again. Uh. So you should know how this thing works out. Uh. Okay. Yeah. From here should be you you should know already. Then after that they want you to find the expectation of x plus y. So how to find expectation of x plus y? How? Um. What are they testing? Understand what's the setter's intention here? To make me feel. Uh, definitely. That one is their, their job scope. That's the job scope. That's not the intention. <laughs> the job scope is to take away marks from you so that they can distinguish the A from the B from the C from the D. But your job is to not let them do that. So over here, what's the setter's oh, intention? Is it? They are testing you on what? That's why the learning objectives on the first page is very important. Because that's how they create the question. Once you understand how they can create a question, you will know what they, you can be ahead of them. So always read the learning objectives a, a few times. Over can here, I what they are testing it? you? Can I split it? Correct. They are testing you on the properties of expectation. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, correct. So from here, you already know what is this, and you also know what is this. From here and from here. And there you go. Right? It's very mm -hmm. simple. Wait, okay. wait, 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 oh my god. Um, um, yeah, wait. Uh, 
Really? Don't worry, I recorded this thing down already. So if you need to refer, later I can send you. What do I do after this again? What do you mean after what? Right. Oh, I just... Uh, uh, so I just put the... Uh, okay, okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Can I? Uh, okay, move on. Um. Okay. So they ask us to deduce, okay, when, whenever uh, examiners use words like that, uh, de deduce, write down, state, you know, this, 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 this three words, usually it's like, it's like a hands kind of question, like just by looking, you should be able to tell that kind of thing, okay, deduce the value of E, S, expectation of S, where S denotes the total score of the numbers, the total score numbers on the other 10 faces of the two dice. Holy shit. On the other 10 faces of the two die. Hey, this question looks very familiar. I think it was your A-level question. The total score of the numbers. I don't get the I don't get I don't get that sentence by the way. Yeah, it's a it's a word play. The total score of the numbers on the other ten faces. So there must be a reason. We usually when they say deduce, right, it means we have to use the previous um, result. So since we already know the expectation of x plus y. Is it e is it e s is equals to one minus e x plus y? I was thinking of something like that, but the thing is, we are not supposed to use one. Why are we using why? one? Well, yeah, one, why not? one we are, this is not probability. <laughs> <laughs> it's not probability, right? The thought counts, the thought counts. The thought counts, yeah. Correct, correct. Your idea is relevant. <laughs> it's relevant because we, for x plus y, means that we are using every single we are using every single value really for both x and y it's just that now we want to exclude two particular values that's why we want only the numbers of the other 10 faces oh this is a problem man probability Problemability. Yes. That's a new word. This shall be the uh, title of our video. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will create a cover page as this. Probability. Very nice. <laughs> then I will give you credit. Okay. So I came up with my new, new theory like this. That yeah. My new yes. <laughs> Probability Chum twenty twenty. No, I don't chum. Just put Renee Chum song to me. Okay. Wait, chum. Mm, I need respect. <laughs> um yeah, it's Prom Renee. Renee's theorem. Renarium. <laughs> that sounds like you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, 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 okay. Let's come back to business. Uh. We need to solve this thing. I know. So it's just total. It's not one. It's total. But <laughs> I know we all don't know. First. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Uh, expectation of... 
tuition and like class, I'm I i do not think properly. I mean, I'm not even like sane. No, yeah, I think I think you're doing better. <laughs> I'm freaking high. I can I can tell a bit. And I never know what a vape looks like. Do you oh no, do you do you do before? You have to say no because it's recorded. Do what? Have you vaped before? What thing? I never know how it looked like. What what kind of vape? What like, do you mean? I don't know. I've never even seen one before. Like I don't vape? Know. Yeah. I just know a lot of people in my school do. How serious are? They sell they sell some okay. And then got police case. Just that y'all don't know because our school hit it. Hey, don't eh. Don't vape. Ready. I tell you. I know. If, if, if anything, right? <coughs> if anything, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I know this in a video. But don't vape. Because uh, the contents in the, in the vaporizer, right, is unknown. Mm-hmm. But whereas for cigarettes, right? It is the inside the cigarettes is known contents. I mean, cigarettes is like it will deteriorate your lungs and then it will cause other health uh, repercussions. Like at the end of the day, you may or may not die, but the probability of dying is higher. But vape mm-hmm. is like you don't know what is inside. It's like hundred percent will. Um, I cannot say hundred percent, but the likelihood of getting your lung damage is higher. If you have read the articles, right, you have seen that in US, right, uh, a lot of things have happened now uh, to people. Yeah, and they also do. So Renee, I tell you, no matter. Trust me, it, I won't do. I won't do. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah, it. it's like the the smell of the vape is it sounds it smells quite quite nice because is they have like fruity flavors. They have like green bean. They have like like you know like uh what what's it called uh high chew grape. That kind of flavors, mm. eh? Yeah, like it was. It, it would be very alluring to do it, but don't. It's not alluring to me, or okay, very good. You know, so many people in my school got caught, and then they they sell drugs. They like freaking sell this kind of shit. Okay, this like, this whole part I'm definitely going to edit it out. But but this is wow! I didn't know AC is so crazy, eh? It is damn bad. It's actually super bad. It's like actually, but. It's like, it's all the rich people that do. Cause, but they're smart, you know, like, I mean, okay, those that got caught, they're not smart, but like the rest, they don't get caught. They're kind okay. of smart, cause they can earn a lot of money, but. Wow. Dumb. It's like, smart, dumb. Like, they said that's a smart way to, no, it's not a smart way to earn money, but it's just like, oh. I don't, like, instead of like, doing like other, actually, I don't know what, no, I... Yeah, but Donna, I mean, you cannot control how other people... You cannot control their actions, but you can control your own response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, coming back to this. Where S denotes the total score of the numbers on the other... Total score of the numbers means what? Means it will be like y one plus y two plus y three x three plus x. The, the, the total score. Oh, I think it's like they are going to add them up together. Is that true? What? What does this mean? Uh? I'm very confused by the English or so. Eh? Yeah, I sent you a picture, like, I'll, I'll give you my 
Are you sending me? Are you going to send me something related to this question to this part? Yeah. What does it say? To solve for ES, you need to utilize the total sum of all twelve surfaces. All twelve faces. <coughs> Apply the properties of expectation. Oh my god, I know right. Why will I not know? <laughs> uh, the total score. Okay, so I think what 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 this person actually meant is x plus y. Oh my god. Minus. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can you imagine like, those people that actually know how to do this in the exam? They're like the A1 people. Yeah. But actually, right, this last part, right, probably only worth like a one mark kind of thing because it's a deduce. But let's say if this whole question is like it were to be like uh let's say here got like two marks, here got two marks, here got like two marks. Let's say this will be to be like an eight marks question. Okay. Mm -hmm. By solving up to this very part, right, you have already secured like say even like even if you secure six out of eight, there is like three over four already, which mm -hmm. is seventy five percent. This will have been an A. The objective is to get seventy five. At, at minimally 70% for every single question. Yeah. So when it comes to this part, uh, right now, because I was stuck also, right? And let's say this question is only one mark. In an exam, right, this one mark, you can only utilize 1.5 minutes. If you took 1.5 minutes to understand thing, right, and you cannot get it right, you got to move on really. But you also have to understand whether have you secured seven, at least 70% for that question. If you have, then you have done your part for this question. Mm. Mm. This is how I will look at a question during the uh, exam. Because I'm going to know what is my risk of not getting the A. For this question, I know I'm already in the A zone. So mm -hmm. I'm not so worried about the last part. But I mean, now we are trying to uh, clarify concepts. So it's better for us to rectify this question now. So expectation on S is the total score of the numbers on the other 10 faces of die. So we have to use, we have to find the expectation of total score of 12 faces minus X plus Y. Okay. Yeah. Minus x1 plus y1 so it will be expectation of total score of 12 faces minus expectation of x plus x1 plus y1 and what is the expectation of the total score of 12 faces It will be expectation of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 plus y5 plus y6. Minus expectation of x1 plus y1. Then shouldn't you take out the word, this y1 and x1 here? Eh, no, 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 you know what is it? Yeah, so over here it will be 6 expectation of x plus 6 expectation of y minus expectation of x minus expectation of y. We should give us 5 
expectation of x plus 5 expectation of y. Is e, e x one equals e x two, right? E x one equals to e x two. Yeah, so that's why that's why over here it will be six times expectation of x because all these are independent values, ma. Mm. Yeah. Actually, wait. I realize, right, we should not do this. Because the total score of 12 faces is basically 1 plus. Is basically, oh my god. What am I doing? Is basically. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Then on the other die, it's also 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Oh. Yeah. That's the total score of all 12 faces. And yeah, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 times 2. So it's expectation of 42. And what's expectation of 42? They're testing you on the properties of expectation of a constant. 42. Yeah, correct. You're right. Yeah. Minus expectation. Minus, minus part B. Yeah. Okay, that was unexpected. But now that we have gone through this question, you are exposed to this setup already. So, but this is a word player. Um, even let's say during the exam, you are not able to perform to understand this question. Uh, it's okay because this is the last part really. You you got to be very exam smart. You got to be very strategic to know whether can you spend more time to understand or simplify what it, what this really means. Mm. Yeah. During during tutorial, we, we aim to perfect the question, yes. But the thing is you cannot carry you, you cannot follow through this habit right onto an examination paper. It is not healthy and you, it will reflect in your grades. Yeah, that's how you do a tutorial. You has no link to how you should do an exam paper. Exam is not for us to perfect it, especially at A levels. At O levels, when you will be, Jasmine, no problem. O levels paper is meant to be perfect, cause it's too easy. Mm. It is easy. At A levels, you realize that, you you haven't really gotten near a hundred percent, right? Mm. For any subjects, for a matter of fact. So, I got one more question. I don't know how to do, yeah. but do you have time? Of course, of course. Anytime, man. If you don't ask me now, when when shall we clarify? After A levels. You don't need, what you sleep very late on me. I don't know. If you were to ask, if you were to ask uh the uh, after school people, you will know that I sleep very early. Oh uh, shit. Sorry. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Because just now, just now I, I, I did like nap a bit. Who doesn't nap? Huh? Oh, you mean you, mean you nap also? Huh? No, I see, like just now I, I did nap a bit. So I don't feel so tired right now. I can assure you, like ninety percent of people are like because of like this HBR thing takes them. I just not. I took a, yeah, my friend, my friend even like posted like nap one, nap two, nap three. Like during the HBR. Yeah. Um, you are required to show our faces. No. For me, no near. Oh. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see, you clarify like that with me is is faster. Uh, instead of like sometimes on WhatsApp, right? Then my fun one. Then I try to explain 
using I my never words. understand when they explain using WhatsApp. Yeah. So, let's not do that. Just straight away send me. I'll tell you when I can zoom. Then we will settle. Okay. Okay. In a game, a player tosses three fair coins. Okay. Means, what does this mean? It means that the coins are not 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. They are not 10. Because they are fair. So, he wins $10 if 3 hits occur. And P dollars if 2 hits occur. $3 if 1 hit occurs and $2 if no hits occurs. Wow. We need to uh, write this down. Huh? So, 3 hits. 10 bucks. 2 hits. Can I just ask, is it a probability for to get a hit is half and then probability to get a tail is half? Yes. So just now I was bullshitting over here. La. Huh? What? This about this fair coins thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was bullshitting. No, I seem like Yeah, this is this this will lead to what you're explaining. When they no, say fair coins like... means this, you're right. I seem like when they when I had to do like the example I have two heads, right? Then I do this thing. Isn't it the same as having three heads? I mean except that this one has to like times three factorial, is it? Eh, why factorial just times three? Is it? Yes, you're right. So there's no factorial. Mm, there is factorial, okay. The reason why you say times three, right, is because, okay, look. Uh, because we are talking about P and C here already. Okay. I want HHT. It can also be HTH uh, or, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, you know but, what I want? I want bubble tea. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. But right now it's like... I think they are all closed, right? Because they are non-essential services. But to you, it's essential. <laughs> okay, so over here we have HHT. Uh, it can be of any sequence because we don't know whether the first one is a tails, heads, or second one is a head, heads or tails, we don't know. So we have to rearrange them. So how do we rearrange them when there is, uh, when there are repetitions, when there are repetitions in that code word, or for instance, Rene. Uh, I know that there is a uh, apostrophe. Uh, there's some. How you know? I know that there's some fault. Some, but let's let's How take it. That, let's take it that your your t er son uh, your your e is t er son. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even know. You know. You told me before back then when yeah you told me before back then <laughs> back then when when we were in the lounge yeah <laughs> oh yeah you you told me before but anyway because because this is the first time I heard such a name okay. Let's say let, let let's take your E as a normal E. Okay. So all, all, all the E's there are identical. To rearrange Rene, these are five letter code words. Okay. So it will be five factorial because we have five letters in total, divided by the total number of identical objects, which is three factorial. So from here we are we are going to get what? Five times four, right? Yeah. Yeah. So same thing. Same thing right now for HHT. Wait, can okay. I just ask what is this? Uh? Like what am I calculating? Okay. Can. Um, let's use let's use egg. It's easier for me to explain. Okay. Let's use egg. So egg mm. can be E-G-G. -G, it can be G-E-G. It can be G, G, E. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is provided if the two Gs, okay, this provided if the two Gs are identical. But mm -hmm. what happens if the two Gs are not? Oops.
Okay, look, when the G's are not identical, how many permutations or arrangements do we have? We have six. six. When the G's are identical, how many arrangements do you have? We have three. Okay, but the thing is, when you spell egg, right? When you spell egg, right? This is how you spell it, right? You don't yeah. spell, like, if, if you to spell egg, you, don't, you, you, you will not spell E G 1 G 2. You won't, you won't say that. Yeah. Right? You will say E G G. Yeah, so this is this is how you spell egg. So how many arrangements are there in egg? There are only three arrangements, but ah, there's six here. Okay, so how do I get to three? So let's say if I want to rearrange E G G, I know that there are three uh letters here, right? So how do we permit it all three letters? It's three factorial, correct? Yeah. Yeah. If you if you if you don't know why we is it is three factorial, it's because if you use the box theory. When I, when I do PNC, I always teach my students the box theory. So in the first box, we have three words. We have three, let, we have three letters. So it will be three, choose one. The second one, because we chose one already, it will be two, choose one. Then the third one will be one, choose one. So this is three times two times one, which is three factorial. That's why you get this. So to uh, rearrange EGG, we have to use three factorial then after that then it's two factorial because i need to arrange the g also correct uh no you don't have to arrange the g because now because this 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 two we when we do three, this three factorial right we are assuming that all the, all three letters are different but now we have two g's that are identical so we have to divide by we have to divide by two factorial because this because these two G's can swap place, you see. And we want to halve it. We want to half the probability of it. Because we want because the two G's are identical. Oh. That's why we divide by two factorial. Let's say in the event when in the in, in the event where we have like E G1, G2 g3 right let's say we have a g3 right yeah then we will be dividing by three factorial because we will have like six different sets one times two times three then we have six then it'll be four factorial over three factorial because we have like six different sets of um different arrangements of eggg okay do you understand now yeah yeah, but even if you don't understand, it's okay. When we go through PNC and uh, when we go through PNC again, you will you will get it. I will explain it more thoroughly. Okay. Okay, but the the whole idea is that why do we need to divide by two factorial? Because we have one set and two sets of different ways to arrange EGG. That's why we need to divide. We need to use three factorial times one over two factorial, which is half, so that we only get one one side of it. Okay, and we come back to this. So HHT, for HHT, same thing. Uh, we need to multiply by. So now, now, now you know how to um, now you know how to rearrange HHT. It will be three factorial divided by two factorial, right? Then we need to multiply by half times half times half yeah which is also equivalent to this hhh but hhh we don't need to multiply by three factorial two factorial because it's just three h's okay i hope you answered your question yeah okay so for let's carry on here so for one hit three bucks no hits Two bucks. Okay. Express yeah. in terms of P his expected gain from each game. Okay. We have to understand what is expected gain. Expected gain. Expected 
expected gain is equals to expected returns minus the cost of playing. Okay, keep in mind this thing first. Expected gain oh, is equal to I know, I know. expected I know return minus cost of playing. So right now, we, we need to know what is the cost of playing. So far, we haven't really got to the cost of playing yet, but let's see if the question tells us. Oh, it did, right? But they say express in terms of P his expected gain from each game. But you see, they, they put that they, they put that question right before oh, the. Oh yeah, game. that's true. That's true. P dollars. Why so weird? Uh? This fella, did he, this is a typo. Should be an expected return, right? I don't have, I have no idea. I think maybe, okay, means in this case, this, the, 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 because you're right, the, the cost of playing was only introduced after this question. So, which means that what they want to get from here is how much he really wins. What's the expected amount of money he wins? And not like the profit. But, but it's very weird, la, honestly. Wait, but never what's mind. expected? What does return? Isn't, what return means revenue. Okay, so it's like expected profit. You don't need cons, right? Yeah. Profit is revenue minus cost, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is expected revenue minus uh, cost. So this that is returns is like returns to him. La. Yeah, returns returns to him. The expected return means like when he plays this game, how much do you, does he get, get get back? Okay. Haven't minus the cost yet. Okay. But uh, right now, I'm not too sure why the person used the word expected gain. Maybe what, what, what he meant was expected return. Yeah. So, but we can still calculate that. Okay. So... Uh, we need to find in terms of P his expected gain from each game. So now we have to draw the table. Okay, so since they are talking about expected gain, uh, now our value, our X, right? would have to take on a different variable already. We are no longer talking about the number of hits that we are that, that, that we will be getting out of the three coins. Okay. So now our X, we have to redefine it. So we will let X, let X be equals amount of money gain from each game. Okay? Yeah. And so, with that said, okay, this is always the standard template. Uh. Usually they will tell you, oh, the number of hits, then you will get this amount of money respectively. So what, after that, what, when they ask you for expected gain or expected returns or expected revenue, whatever word they use, right? The standard template is they must always come and create this probability distribution table 
with X being the amount gain or uh, the amount return from each game. So the, this will be our uh, X. Here will be two dollars. Wait, so this gain, right? Is it the revenue or the... Okay, right now in this question, it will be the revenue. Right now in this okay. question is the revenue. Because, okay. because of how they phrase the question, the, set, the, the intention of the setter. Okay. Yeah. Because... So this is P, PX. Uh. Sorry again? The table, this P... Yes, equals X. Yes, correct. So for two dollars, what's the probability of getting two dollars? Zero hits, right? Cube. So zero hits will be half times half times. Yeah, half cube. You are right. Sorry, sorry. I didn't hear that. One over eight. How to get three? So to get zero hits and three hits is easier. Very nice. How to calculate this two? Uh? I actually don't know. I just do one minus two over a, then divide by two. So how to get one hit? So one hit basically is over here, right? Or one <gasps> tail. Oh my god! Now I know what's wrong. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. These two, they are the same, is it? You got it. So I, wait, I can just do one minus two over eight. If I buy two. Mm, I wouldn't recommend that lah. I will I will really show this. Why? Um I mean you can, but it doesn't really matter that much. You can do that. But I I I will, I, will, I want to show this. Then or rather, yeah. So from here, we will have gotten the PDF of the amount of money gained from each game. So from here, you can find the expected gain. Okay. Okay. Then after okay. which, for part A. Okay, so now we know the cost of playing is 450. Okay, find the value of P for which the game is fair. Okay, for a game to be fair, the expected the expected gain, uh, okay, I'm talking about this one. Uh, okay. Must always be equal to zero. Why? Oh. For the game to be fair. If it's the, a fair so game. that the revenue and the cost is like equal. Uh. Yeah, correct. It's like no one win, no one lose. Correct. Because if the expected gain is going to be greater than zero or lesser than zero, means the game is tilting to someone's favor already. Yeah. Yeah, so it will not be fair. So for it to be fair... This right okay, is every arcade and carnival game. Very good. Correct. You are right. And also, actually, you realize that Yes. Yes. But the thing is, right, according to mathematics, right, back then when uni, I did study something like that before. I start, we studied the, because I majored in statistics. So we studied the, mm -hmm. the probability of uh, different kind of games. Okay? The different kind of table games in the casino. Um, Next time, if you ever go to casino, right, you will see like Ta Xiao La, all those different kind of game, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the only kind of game that you, if you really want to make some money out of it, uh, some small money out of it, the only game that you should go to, go, uh, you should go to uh, is Bakrat. You know Bakrat? No. Natural 8 or Natural 9, you will win. What's if you that? Get, if you get like, if you get like a king, then you get like yeah. a nine. Naturally, you just win. You just oh. win naturally, yeah. But if you get like oh. three and two, means this will be equals to five. Then you have to see whether the banker, uh, whether the banker gets a number that's bigger than you or not. Yeah. 
So if you get like uh one and uh two, okay, then yeah. you have to draw another card. But if your your third card is K, you will still get three. Because King, King, Jack, Queen, Ten, they are, they all belong to zero. Oh. They have zero value. Yeah. They have zero so nine's the highest lah. Nine is the highest, la. yeah, lor. That's why if you natural mm. eight or nine, you win straight away. Mm. So we studied, we, we did research and we studied uh for most games in the casino. Uh Bakrat mm. has the highest has the has a expected gain that is closest to zero. Closest. Mm, but the closest. expected gain is still in the negative. We calculated. Uh, but it is the only game that is closest to zero. Yeah, just remember that. And people still go gambling so much. The thrill. It's like why people buy lottery. Why people buy lottery? Do your parents buy lottery? No. Oh, really? Uh? Yeah. That is, means very, very smart. Very, very, very smart. You should never, ever do that. Yeah. I think people do it for the real law. It's like, um, for the endorphins, you know, like, or like a kind of, it's not really endorphins, it's for like dopamine. You know dopamine? No. It's a kind of, uh, okay, there are four kinds of, um, chemicals that we really get released in your body. Yes, correct. These four chemicals, they rule our, our actions, behavior. Yeah. And dopamine is uh, one of the crucial hormones. Uh, because dopamine is like, oh. if, you, if you don't do it, right? If you, don't, if you don't do it, you will feel uneasy. It's like someone texts you, then you don't reply. You feel uneasy. It's like you, it's like you, 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 you see, that, uh, see that notification okay. there, you know? But once you reply, you feel, oh, you feel good better. I'm the type of person that will feel uneasy when I can't read my message, but I always take them long to reply. Wow. No, 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 no. no, no. Hey, you know, it just sounds like who? Depends, no? depends. Who? Jasmine. Oh yes. my god. Oh my god. I'm not as bad as her. Jasmine takes so freaking long to reply. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my she, god. You should, she knows it. She, I don't know whether she knows or not, but. Every no, time. she no. I don't know what's her deal, man. I don't know. Okay, wait, I'm not even, okay, I'm not that bad. I'm like a normal person. Like <laughs> Oh my god. Hers is so freaking bad. Yeah, you know you know Ken already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there are a few things you need to take note up to this point. If you want to gamble, do do bakra. And you want to uh if you have some, something urgent to tell Jasmine, don't text her, call her. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's carry on. Okay. So now we need to show that we need to, this is our objective to find that the expected gain is equal to zero. Okay. So very, oh, it's, it's, it's oh, very simple. Oh, oh. So is it that E, then 10, E, okay, you have to find EX first, is it? So we have to find this thing first. Times, 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 plus together. Okay. So the expected, in this case, they call it the they call it the gain. Uh, okay. So the expected gain minus the cost of playing should be equals to zero. Just solve this equation. Is it that? No. Why? Eh, why 10x? I don't understand. Because he get 10 bucks. Is it not? I don't know. I'm just, oh, I don't know. Do I just ten, copying? 10 times oh, 1 I over know, 8. I know, I know, I know. I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. 10 times 1 over 8. Plus. Ah, okay, okay. You get what I mean? This, this expected gain here means 10 times 1 over 8 plus P times this plus 3 times this plus 2 times this. Then minus 450. And equate wait, it to wait, zero. Wait, what's the gain? What's okay. the gain? Okay. What's EX in this thing? And what's um, the E gain? Okay. By right, uh, by right, right. And what's E return? I'm confused. Okay. Maybe for this question, just for this question, I will...
I change this. All right, the phrasing is not so bad. For this question, so expected gain minus cost of playing should be equals to zero for a fair gain. Can you see the top part? Okay. So the expected gain is what we found here. Wait, why expected gain minus cost of play? Isn't gain the revenue? Uh yes. So shouldn't gain be zero? Then expected return minus cost of playing, then is equals to zero. Yeah. It goes to zero. Uh. But you put expected gain. Yeah, the expected gain will be $2 times 1 over 8. $3. Then, was, but then what's the expected return? Okay, by right, uh, by right. I don't know why this question is phrased like that. By right, uh, this should be return. Oh. By right, this then should be return. Then should I just change it? <laughs> you can, you can. Because you should it, okay. So yeah, let, let's let's yeah let's 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 change it lah. Let's change it. This is yes. Let's change it. Wait uh, Let me tidy this up first. I use revenue instead, Ken. Okay. Yeah, because... I use profit. This topic is so hard, oh my god. Oh, okay, la. I think I think honestly speaking, I think you're coping fine. Uh I have seen some others that are like quite bad. But so far your understanding is okay. Oh my god. Let me erase this. Okay. So over here the expected Re the the first part that we found is the expected return. Uh. So let's 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 not. So we found the expected return. Okay. So how do we find the expected? Okay, sorry. Let's change it to revenue. 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 the amount of revenue from each game. Okay, so when you want to find the expected revenue, you have to use $2 times 1 over 8, $3 times the its corresponding probability, P dollars times its corresponding probability, $10 times 1 over 8, minus, minus what? 450. 450. And you equate it to zero. Then from there, you solve for P. Okay. Can? Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, he's expected. Wait. Yeah. I, uh, okay. So the thing that's equal to zero is expected profit. Okay. Right over here. Right over here. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. So we from here on, I think we should be using this equation whenever we want to find the expected profit. But 
Because it is really up to the setter to decide which word he or she wants to use. So we can only try to um, decipher the setter's intention. Okay. Yeah. Okay, last question. Okay. Okay, his expected gain or loss over one hundred games. If P is equals to 490. So what does this mean? So we are going to play this game 100 times. But the probability will always be the same? Yeah. It will always be the same. So basically we just need... Yeah, or, 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 correct. We just need times 100. But then... But then we have to use P as 490 uh, in this case. Okay, so... Um, wait. Yeah, profit. You're right. Expected profit. will be equals to so you have to find what's the expected revenue which is everything here but now this p here is 490 then you plus 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 isn't that is it this is it this thing Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Minus 450. Then after that, there's no, there's no, there's no loss. There's no loss. Now how come they ask for loss? Because we don't know. We, they, okay, you see, uh, that's why they say, they, 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 because this question, uh, in the first place, over here, over here, remember, they, 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 they use expected gain. The, the phrasing uh, of this question is not very good. When you say gain or loss, it can be in terms, it's better that we phrase it as profit. Because when you talk about profit, uh, if I tell you, okay, Rene, you know, it's, oh, it so can be positive or negative. Yes. So this thing, uh, then this thing uh, times 100. Yes, correct. Then that's all. That's all. That's all? Yeah, because this is for one game. Oh. oh. Okay. The more you play, the more you're going to lose if the game is not fair. Hmm. Yeah. But then again, I don't know why every time I go to arcade, I still see people win a lot of tickets. Uh. Right, yeah. I, 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 I never even won so much. I didn't people always you, post on your story, they yeah, win so much. Yeah, you know like they have the basket, right? They just put it there. Then after the tickets, just like free flow. Yeah. How do you do that? Then power. You have to, you have, like I said, like, you have to select You have to select the right game. Uh. You know select the only time that, that kind of thing happened? Like, okay, you know Singapore arcades are so like, they are quite small and boring. Like, mm. um, last time I went to Las Vegas, but like oh, then yeah. my grandparents went to like casino, uh, but they're not crazy. They just play a little bit of money. And then like, because we stay in this hotel, then it's like for kids. Then there's like a amusement park and then there's like a whole big arcade area. Uh -huh. It's freaking huge. And like, but it's like a whole the, like... Means the varieties are quite... Yeah, quite, uh, it was also. so fun. It's not tiny. Like, they don't have so much more chance to win. But I think it's like, you just need to find the right game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, you got any more questions or not? You have better ask. Um, I mean, I haven't done the rest yet. I, okay. I, I will do tomorrow. I just... You can, yeah. So, I tell you, 
tomorrow you don't know straight away text me ask me then i arrange a session on zoom with you okay yeah because don't uh wait until like uh the next lesson it'll be too late really because some of the students they, like, i don't know they high say or what then they never text me then after that they messed up the next test then we need to put in more work again uh. yeah <laughs> okay uh. yeah if not good night thank you oh my god okay. bye bye Sorry. no 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 not at all please don't say that bye bye Bye.